everybody and good morning and welcome to Daily Devotions. My name is Dean. I'm on team here at Father's House Church, North End, Nelson Mandela Bay, as well as the online church pastor. And really is a wonderful privilege for me to be able to start uh, Thursday morning with you this morning, Daily uh, Devotions. Pastor George started a new series entitled uh, Chain Breaker, a remarkable start to the series on Sunday. And you can still catch that on YouTube as well as on Facebook. Um, and then the pastors have done an incredible job starting that conversation for us uh, in our devotional series. Uh, this morning, if you would like to grab your uh, mobile app or if you would like to actually grab your, grab your Bible, I'll be reading this morning uh, from Hebrews 12. Uh, so if you would like to slowly grab that, you can do that. Hebrews 12 uh, and would love to have a conversation uh, with you this morning uh, around some ideas that come out of that uh, around the idea of chain breaker. Uh, Elizabeth uh, is two turning three in December um, and she's slowly starting to progress in uh, kind of trying to get her to ride her bike. Uh, and so she's gone through the usual stages, kind of first on a little, little bit of a push bike, you know, those little uh, black ones with a sticker uh, light on the front. And so very, very small and very, very easy for her to kind of uh, push. And then we got her a little pink uh, Barbie bike that has the training wheels on the side and again really really small and so she's kind of getting used to uh, the pedals and really kind of trying to learn how to balance as best as possible. And, uh, and now uh, she's actually uh, identified Daniel's uh, push bike but the, the actual bike but it doesn't have any pedals so now they're the big wheels and the proper handlebars but she's got to sit on it. Um, and then begin to walk and begin to push and so she actually has to hold on to the handlebars and I kind of hold on the back and she kind of gets her momentum and she rolls around a little bit uh, but it's really something uh, nice for me and her to do um, in the afternoons uh, the weather at the moment is really quite beautiful um, and so we've got a nice opportunity at five half past five in the afternoon to do a little walk around the neighborhood and uh, the sun's just setting so it really is a beautiful uh, daddy and daughter time where we're having this opportunity to do that um, in our neighborhood um, and uh, we were uh, yesterday or the day before absolutely perfect weather <clears throat> and uh, we got out of our gate and we start going um, and uh, we're chatting and chatting and chatting and then she gets going a little bit and then I lean over and I help her with the handlebars and we're going um, and slowly slowly she's getting confident so we take a corner and I say, okay, Lizzie, you're going to just uh, go by yourself for a little bit and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll kind of, when you get to the stop street, uh, Dad will take over again and then we'll take it from there. Now she's going, we're chatting and chatting and chatting and all of a sudden she just stops uh, and she points maybe five or ten meters ahead of us and she goes, rock money. And, and never in my life have I, <laughs> she's never brought this up at home, she's never brought this up in conversations in the car, she's never brought this up on little school runs, rock money. And she quickly pushes her little bike and she quickly uh, drops the bike on the side and she, with her one little hand, swoops down and a fistful of little pebbles, really just kind of gravel that's collected on the side of the road, these little little stone pedals and she grabs it and she's so excited and all of a sudden she's got rock money um, and in the process she now tries to get back on her bike and she kind of balances and I kind of help her up a little bit and she gets her left hand onto the handlebars and now she realizes oh uh, my goodness um, this thing that has caught my attention this thing that caught my eye has now kind of got my hand and I can now not do what I was doing. I can no longer ride my bike the way that I was by having a grip on it because now there is something else in my hand and I'm unable to. And so I kind of begin having this conversation with her and I say, my girlie, you're going to have to drop that if you want to keep riding your bike. Um, you're going to have to let that go because you have to hold on to the handlebars. And I kind of hold her hand and try and talk her through this process. And um, it reminds me, it reminded me of Hebrews 12, uh, where the writer writes, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders 
and the sin that so easily entangles. Let us run the race with perseverance, the race marked out for us, that we would fix our eyes on Jesus. So much to unpack here in this as we go through the chain breaker series and really so much uh, coming out of that passage and even just the first two verses there. Elizabeth found herself in a position where she needed to let go of her rock money. This thing that caught her eye, this thing that caught her attention, this thing that is now actually going to hinder her from running the race marked before her. On her bike, out with her dad, on a stroll. Maybe for each of us this morning, you can think of one or two things that may have caught your attention. One or two things that it may have caught your eye. And this morning, uh, my prayer for each of us is that God would impress on our hearts, impress on our spirits. What's one thing that we have to let go of this morning so that we can get another grip on the handlebars as we ride our bikes into the sunset? If there is one thing that was potentially uh, exciting for you to grab onto, but this morning you realize, Yo, I'm, I'm going to have to readjust here because this thing, I'm going to have to throw off this thing that hinders me, as the writer says in Hebrews, from riding my bike. It hinders me from being able to do this the way God had intended me to do it. My prayer for each of us is that we would have a moment now as we close off this morning's devotion and as we just close off in prayer, my prayer is that God would reveal some of those things to you and that His grace would overflow into your heart uh, and that this morning we would be brave to let those things go, climb onto our bikes and run the race marked ahead of us. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you so much for this time together. I thank you that you are with each one of us, wherever we may find ourselves, whether in traffic on the way to work or school, whether uh, at university taking a walk uh, out uh, at the beach or on a school run, whatever it may be, we thank you that you are with us. As the writer of Hebrews says, uh, would we throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us and that we would run this race with perseverance would we drop the things that are slowing us down would we let go of the things that are stopping us from having a good grip on the handlebars uh, would we throw off those things that are hindering us this morning thank you spirit that you are with us ministering to each one of us now and we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Would you type amen in the comment section there um, if you prayed that prayer uh, with us this morning. Uh, and I really pray and I'm grateful that the Spirit is with you as you go into today. Uh, and trust uh, that you will have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful Thursday. God bless you today. Cheers.